it sounds like the rear fan on my computer here is going because uh, starting to get a, a little bit of, a little bit of a grinding sound. I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm going to have to try to attempt to replace this fan. I think it's a 120 millimeter. And this is an Antec computer case. But uh, definitely have to change this fan. Hey everyone, uh, today I thought I'd change uh, one of my computer fans that has been acting up. It's been getting louder and louder and um, I don't know if it's just dirty or it's failing. Um, I've been poking it with a pen to get it to quiet down, but uh, increasingly it's getting louder and louder. So uh, It's an Antec case and uh, I went to their website I was looking to see if you can get spare parts and ended up calling... Um, I ended up calling customer support and I think this case is about five years old and uh, they said they, they did have the fan and I asked them how much and I said oh no, no, no problem we're going to send it right out so I couldn't believe that they sent me out a fan uh, free, free shipping and so I thought I'd replace this fan today because it's really starting to uh, bother me. And um, one thing about doing any computer work, of course, make sure it's unplugged. But up here in the Northeast, when it's cold and it's dry, you get a problem with static electricity. So if you've got wall-to-wall -wall carpeting or you have carpeting and you notice you've been getting shocks here and there, uh, you want to make sure you discharge you know, any uh, electricity you might have built up on you by shuffling across a, you know, a carpet. And one way to do that is, you know, you can touch your, your faucet or if you've got radiators, uh, touch your radiator, but then don't go uh, across the carpet again to go touch your computer. Uh, another thing is this blue mat here, uh, I was going to use this, but I've got a humidifier uh, going and um, I've just made sure that I don't have any static charge on me. And, but you, you, they have these static mats that you can purchase and, you know, you you plug one end here uh, into your ground on your outlet and then there's another uh, strap that you can uh, it's well there's another cord that you can plug into this and you have usually have a wrist strap so there would be a connector here that goes to the outlet and then uh, you would take this and plug it into that connector and you'd have this around your wrist like this uh, so that you don't uh, shock any electronic parts but I'm not going to be removing or having to remove the motherboard or anything the cable for this fan is just fed through the back here so I have full access to the connector I'll be able to take this fan off and replace it But I thought that was pretty great that, uh, you know, no cost to me, they, it's a five-year-old case and they just went ahead and sent out a replacement fan. So let's see what we have here. <clears throat> so this is a 120 millimeter fan. They have bigger ones now. I think they just measure about 4.7 inches except they, for some reason they the standard is metric when they refer to the size of these fans so they go from edge to edge it's about 4.7 inches and it's 120 millimeters and they have larger fans now so the larger the fan it doesn't you know it doesn't have to move as fast and it's going to be quieter but it can still move more air because it's a larger fan and the smaller ones that have to move at a faster speed and are going to be noisier. So let's go ahead. Basically, there are three, there are four screws in the back here. 
and uh, just have to replace those and then disconnect the cable that feeds through to the back side here and uh, put in the new fan. Let's see if I can figure out which one of these cables is to the fan that I want to replace. I think it's this connector right here. So I'll just disconnect that. And they just have a couple of tie wraps here. Yeah, another good idea to, uh, to maintain your computer is to periodically um, clean out all the dust. And you get some of that canned air and just spray it. Open up the sides and uh, take it outside and spray all the dust out because with all these fans drawing air into the computer it's, it's going to accumulate a lot of dust. So they just feed this connector through this slot here. Let's look around the back here. I've been putting up with this fan and finally decided I better change it. I have the replacement part, so it's pretty simple. You don't need any any serious uh, tools here. Just as a Phillips screwdriver for this fan, and they're like self-tapping screws. I can't believe I waited. This chain was really getting annoying. This particular fan has a speed control on it. Um, three settings. So, um, what they have because there are two fans with separate controls. They have this connector that um, holds these two controls. So I had to unscrew this from the back. And then there are, I don't know if you can see that. There you can see that. There are two clips that hold that in place. So I have to uh, expand these two clips and pull this pull this out so if you see here you just spread these apart and this pulls out like that so there's here's the old fan so here's the old fan and uh, I'll replace it with a new one. So the first thing I want to do is put this little speed control here back in. So now we'll just reverse uh, the steps to put the uh, new fan in. So just snap this in place. Like so. And then this screws into the back. And we'll screw the fan back in place and then feed the wire through the, the chassis. So screw the fan in. Tighten them all up at the end. Don't 
screw them in tight all the way, leave a little slack so you can move the fan around to line up all these four holes and then you can tighten them all up once you have all the screws in. So the fan securely in place. Now I need to put this control, this speed control connector here in, in place. It's just two small screws. Now I just need to feed the cable through to the other side. Take this tie wrap off. And uh, these are notched, so you really can't you really can't uh, mess this up. They have a distinct shape to them, so they only go in one way. Just clip that in, and uh, take your tie wraps and make this a little bit neater. Here's a tie wrap built into the case here so should be all set to go make sure the cables aren't interfering with anything and uh, I have my new fan in so with that loud fan, that was an indication that it was, uh, that eventually it was going to fail. And if there's one thing that's going going to uh, destroy electronics, and that's heat buildup. So hopefully uh, this new one works, and I can get back to uh, making some more videos um, with this computer. It's five years old and. That's really a lifetime when it comes to computers. So the fan's replaced. Let's turn on the computer and see what it sounds like. Okay. Now we got the speed control here. You can hear that? That's low. That's medium. That's high. Nice. Great. <clears throat> so, great. I've been meaning to do that for a couple of weeks. Been putting up with this noisy fan. Turn this down a little bit. Put it in medium. There. That should be good enough. So I'm glad I took care of that finally. And I can move on to uh, my next project. So, 
make sure you've got a good airflow going through your computer, clean out the dust, make sure your fans are working and uh, it'll help extend the life of your computer. So thanks for watching my video.